have a photographer who has his heart in his eyes. He sees the heart through his eyes. He is an actor, a director, and a man who is loved by so many. Michael Hansel. Mr. Hansel! Now what? <laughs> now what? Now what? <laughs> now what? Now we just sit back and have fun. Oh, good. We get hey. to... We get to talk all about you and, and your magic. My magical heart? Yeah, yeah. You see the heart. You, number one, you have a big heart. And then you see well, the thank heart. thank you. Yeah, of course. And then when you're taking photographs and when you're living your life, you see it through the lens. I, I try to see people as they are. Yeah. You know, try to capture those moments. I like to watch is, is what they say. You know, I, I like to watch. And that's the important thing. And you know, you asked me for pictures today. And I said, well, let's, let's go with reportage. Reportage. Reportage, meaning you try to capture different moments mm -hmm. that are real. You know, they might be from not from uh, silly to mundane, but yeah. they're, they're um, important to tell a story, you know? Yeah. So, and try, and I try at least in some to get, get myself and out of them and just right. show you. And then in others, I, I insert myself, you know, in some of the reactions right. to what people say. And I just like to be silly. I love but it. In, well, in the end, it has to be silly. It, 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 but not always, some of the time, huh? No, always. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. I just learned something new about you, Mr. Hayes. Yeah, even the most serious circumstances, yeah, you kind of have to be a little silly. Okay, okay. Well, unless um, people don't have a sense of humor, then you just pray, pray for them. Well, you know, I was I was going to actually start with one of your photos that just uh -oh. all of them blow me away. But I'm going to, you know, you're talking about a little silly. So I'm going to let's just start with some photos here. I'm going to see where we are here. Uh, Rainy, Boom, boom. I'm still learning how to use this um, like Zoom. Oh, we're on Zoom. Oh, shoot. I thought we were on YouTube. <laughs> We're on Zoom and YouTube. The YouTube. How does Zoom. that work? What? I, I don't know. I'm still learning about it all. Check, Let's check, see. testing one, two. This is I cool. love this. Isn't it? Well, while we're, while I'm trying to figure out the screen sharing thing, <laughs> um, you didn't yeah, always yeah. want to, you didn't always want to be a photographer, did you? What was your. Well, I've always wanted to tell stories. I've always wanted to capture moments. I always, yeah, you know, that's my directing. And I've always wanted to direct because, you know, I've always wanted to play God, so. And you, you just gave me an idea of a movie. And that was a joke, but thank you anyway. So. <laughs> but you're, you're, you're looking at your computer and not enjoying, the, you gotta be in the moment. I learned no. that and I learned that in Meet the Biz. Have you taken really? his class? Yeah. Who, 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 David does, Zimmerman. Oh, David Zimmerman. I think I've heard about him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, no, this is interesting though, because right now I'm looking at you, but it doesn't uh -oh. seem like it, does it? But if I look like this, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the, the, the camera. It's, right. It's an art, this thing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. But yeah. what you want to do is create a reality for whatever you're, you're using it for. Right. Okay. okay. Well, let's try this reality right here, right now. Boom. Okay. That's a picture of um, a, a Meet the Biz workshop. Have you ever taken in? Oh, I've already asked you about that. And that's just a fun moment. Yeah. 
Um, and um, now, who is that in the picture? That's Mr. Forrest, Mr. Toby Forrest. Oh, he's he's a great actor. He's a great actor, singer. singer. Oh, I mean, the list goes on. Yep. But yeah. no, it was a fun day. He was teaching a class. And um, afterwards, they, they got up and did a, did a set. And I always like capturing um, raw moments. And this is an example of being short is an advantage mm -hmm. because I'm down low. Right. And capturing that moment. So... Um, what I love so much about this too is how his light is shining. I mean, the yes. light from him and his energy, as well as the light from above. And well, right. I, I try to, you try to get happy mistakes. And that's right. kind of what you look for is, is you shoot a lot of shots and then you bring them up and some lights are good. A lot aren't, you know, and try to get the focus right. Right. And because he's wearing a hat, when he's when his head is up like that, you can see his face. But when it's low, then you know if he's tilting down, then the hat blocks the light. So right, right, that's beautiful. It's one of my favorite photos of yours. I mean, you have a lot of. I mean, here's the thing: the thing about your photos, you are seriously one of my favorite photographers. Um. And I have a lot of pictures of you to, to show for that. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I tried not to. I was going to give you all pictures of you. I oh, no, please, no. Um, uh, but I, I mean, and I want to thank you for all those years at Meet the Biz. I don't know how many years it was. Uh, years and years you took photos and photos. And thank God for that, because now we have a history of it. You know? Yeah, and I think that's that's Im important to um, capture. Not only you know I I didn't put any of the group pictures, but there's a whole bunch of group pictures that I'll I'll give to you one day. You have a lot of them already, I assume. Right. But you know of all your classes, and those are those are great memories. Just right. to have of a of a general group, but then the pictures I like are the silly ones. The ones in between are when people are making faces. Right. And that shows the relationship, the love. And that's really what I wanted to capture with, with your class is the love and understanding. Right, right. Um, I, I, you know, and talking about one of those photos now, let's go to one of those. Ah. Uh, yeah, go. that's just capturing a moment in between uh, of you working and um, who is that fella? That's Mr. Mark Povanelli, the uh, incredible, amazing actor and human being. And he has a shirt on in this picture, which is, you know, I would have rather him have it off, but he's a good <laughs> man. But he taught a a another fun class and yeah. you want to capture these moments because they represent um, joy. Yes, yeah. I mean, that was an exciting class. I mean, he has given so much uh, of his time and love to, yeah, and he does it to everything he does. And you, you have captured the, you know, those moments of right, you know, might be a little awkward, might be a little, but it's, you know what, it, it's human. Right human now you've been d taking photos for years i mean you started taking photos at the media access awards That's yeah i've been taking pictures for decades so yeah when, when was the when was the first time you picked up a camera oh probably when i was like eight or nine ten okay so back in the film days so in the I, film days yep so and, I started in film. Yeah, and you were you were very enraptured in in film and music and art. Yeah, it it gets back to my love of movies. That's probably my greatest love, mm. is film, and um, watching movies when I was a kid, 
and the storytelling that that movies tell. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of my favorite directors growing up was John Ford, and John Ford films, and he always said it's in the eyes, you know, and the story was in the eyes. So that's kind of where I got that, where I wanted to, to capture faces, you yeah. know. There's different pictures. I think I have a more of a Vista picture, not a Vista, but the uh, picture of at the screening, the one picture. Oh, yes. Uh, with, with Blair and. Yes, let's, uh, let's go to that one. Don't mean to put you on the spot. No, I, or maybe I do. Yes, I, I think you do. There you go. <laughs> and I love it. But this is a Vista picture where, where what you're capturing is a, a screening of this film. Mm -hmm. And it's about Down syndrome. But the host of the event has Down syndrome. And there's the director being hugged by Blair. Mm -hmm. But that tells a really important story mm. and through the picture. And you don't notice it at first because I don't think you should. You just look at it, oh, that's a movie picture. But when you get into the storytelling of it and how much went into it, you know, and who is that young lady? That's Miss Jamie Brewer, the wonderful, uh, incredible actress from American Horror Story and so many other uh, uh, wonderful pieces. Love you, more. I have so many great Turn pictures of, of her breaking, you know, breaking down barriers. Yeah. And this really is. Well, and it's not, show, it's not show off or anything. It just is what it is. Well, you know what I love too about this is that, you know, you see them, but you also see this wonderful, it's sort of like, it's this energy growing out of all of them to this, Kelly's Hollywood above them with this this face looking down actually it feels like on them. Right. That's the vista where when I was taking the picture, oh that's the important shot. It isn't the close up of of um the actress interviewing the director. It's the vista of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And the love. Right. I mean, you could see all the love. You could see how they're, the, the Blair and the director are um, yes. hugging each other. And then even uh, the, the man, I don't know if he's the interpreter or what, but the man next to Jamie. Yeah, it's, it, well, it, they're relaxed. Yeah. And yeah. that's another story it tells. Yeah. You know. oh, I want those days again. <laughs> I do. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous one. Um, so that's that's about uh, about Vista, Vista, you know that you wanna you wanna see more than what's because I like to narrow focus mostly probably too much, but sometimes you just want to show the whole Magilla. the whole surroundings. I have another picture yeah. um, of your class at the school. Um, okay, I'll get that one. Is that the one with? Um... And it's kind of a shot of the whole class from a distance. From a distance. Mm -hmm. I'm looking. Oh, was that with Naomi Grossman? Let's yes. See. The wonderful actress. Uh, oh, I love that one, too. I mean, there's, I, I didn't see bad shots at all. Let's see. Share screen. And here this one is. Now, I have a lot of wonderful shots of you and her, you and Naomi being interviewed. Mm -hmm. But here's something you don't see a lot of, it, you know. So if you really look at the shot, you see a very inclusive class. Mm -hmm. You see this person signing on stage, um, person asking questions. And, you know, you see a wheelchair. And it really captures what you guys try to do in your class. And, and everybody's happy and smiling. You yeah. see different ages. Yeah, yeah, very inclusive. And again, it tells a story. And again, there's that light. I love how you bring the light into it. Uh, it's sort of well, like a shining from above, you know? Well, yeah, that's where you want to look at the staging. So that's a great room for me to take pictures in 
because I can move around and look for where, you know, the, the lucky happenstance of your lighting. I mean, I would ask you to, you know, in a different, different time and place, you can do all the staging you want and, and get amazing pictures. But I knew I could capture this natural, mm -hmm. right, without staging and posing. I mean, in a way, this is like a painting. I mean, you even see um, uh, at the, the front of the post uh, picture, uh, there's right. Megan. And if you look closely, you see that there is a hearing aid on her ear. Right. Uh, so, and then I love how Kay Darcy, who was just such a love who passed several years ago, right in the middle, sitting up front with the light hitting her, her white hair. Um, right. It is beautiful. Well, that's what the best cinematographers do is you, you don't want to have a lot of lights. You want to capture, find that one angle. Yeah. And just put that light there. Yeah. And that's what I did is I just found the spot where the light was and yeah. took pictures. Yeah. You know, so I, I move around a lot right. um, when I take pictures to capture those moments. Now you started, I mean, you directed a film. Yes. Um, and when was that? Back, this was a... Oh, yeah, about 2000, yeah. 2000, when we, we still had actual film. Film, film, I shot on film, 35, but yes. Yes. Back in the day, but um, yeah. And we can talk about that another day too. Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of where, where my thinking is cinematography and I love cinematographers. So when I look at my pictures, I'm thinking of film. You know, I'm thinking of Stanley Kubrick yeah. um, or something like that. There, you, your, your pictures do tell a whole story. They are, and that's why they're art, because they, you know, the one we saw of Toby on that stage, the one we just saw, I mean, each one, I mean, is like a painting. Um, I, there's one that I, is one of my, I mean, there's so many favorites of mine here. Um, where is that one here? There we go. This is one of my favorites as well. And uh, I'm being biased a little on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I have probably a thousand pictures of you two just in the same position, but yes, this one's wonderful. What it is, is what you want to do when you take pictures, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you're posing pictures, which this was part of that session, yeah. is once you get the pose, you want to take before and after pictures too. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you can sometimes capture the best moments of people being real. Yeah. And this is just love. And both your eyes are closed, you know, and people say, what? Their eyes are closed. Get rid of it. But you just see the love. And the hands are very important in this picture. The hug, the naturalness. Yeah. And um, kind of me just getting out of the way. Well, just it, letting you two be you. It is interesting that you said that about the, you know, people pose for a shot and they're sort of like, okay, I'm ready. One, two, three, pose. And you love, you get those shots that are after the pose where it's like, okay, I'm going to hug you now. We're finished with the picture, but little do people know sometimes know that is the picture when you're. Yeah. Oftentimes it is because um, it's more natural, mm -hmm. you know, and people like myself, I'm a, I don't like having my picture taken necessarily. So there's real talent and you have that talent where you can pose, but, and you can cover, which I try to get you to uncover because you're, you're a very good looking fella. Thank you. And, um, and when you're not, you know, smirking for camera. Right. And um, like I posted one on Instagram that I just love a couple of days ago that, um, and you can look at my account, Michael Hansel an Instagram of David, and only yes, yes. <laughs> you and Ati, but you you guys do crazy pictures, but there's only a few where you're just really loving, and you you look like a stud in that picture. Let me tell you. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you very much. 
Listen, you know, relax. I should have phone calls for dates after this interview. <laughs> but but those those are important. People forget those sometimes. Yeah. Um, that you want to capture the historical, which is just the picture of you two together, and go, okay, yeah. But then the the relationship you want to also capture. Yeah, and that so, picture really has such love in it, and. And beside the love and energy, it has that beautiful green foliage behind it. Yeah, that's, you know, that's lucky. And again, a lot of pictures are thrown out because of the background. Right. You know, again, um, in that instance, I didn't need to have you move or anything. Right. And, and you get into trouble sometimes when you, when you start posing. Right. If I would have had you guys move over, to right. another spot, then it's not as as natural. Yeah. So you you have to, and you know I I shot on film, so I wasted a lot of money on film. But this is digital, so just take the shot, look yeah. at it, and if you know if there's something in it that doesn't work, you can mask it or just yeah. just say oh well and throw it out. Right. Right. Yeah. And, even, you know, even not like, and I love how, you know, even the leaves are like, there's a few leaves that aren't perfect, but what is perfection? You know, I've well, always- Well, you're looking at, if, I, if people are looking at the leaves, then I didn't do my job. No, I mean, of course. I mean, usually I just look right there, but if you start exploring the photo- it, Right. Everything Nothing else, distracts. Nothing doesn't look natural. Right. You know, there isn't somebody, you know, flipping you off or- <laughs> making a face in the background, which I have plenty of pictures of you and your friends doing things like that, you know. Matt, just making silly faces in the background, which are cute in and of them, yeah, like that, which are cute, but they they don't tell the real you. They just tell the showbiz you. Right. And maybe uh, that's all it should be, because it's Meet the Biz. Oh, Meet the Biz. Yeah, but Meet the Biz, that's what I'm trying to do with Meet the Biz. Or What's that? One of the messages is Meet the Biz is about humanity. Meet the Biz is um, a, a diversity. Meet the Biz is, you know, a lot of times the teachers would come in and, you know, they would think they are meeting, uh, or they would think they were the biz. And the students would think that the teachers coming in are the biz, but ultimately everybody in that room is the biz. In fact, a lot of times the biz is are the students. If that makes sense. No, it does. It does. Um, and it's often forgotten um, because you know people get wrapped up into being popular, whatever that is. Popular. And instead of doing what they love. Right, right. And there's lots of opportunity right now to, to do, what you, do what you love. Do what you love. And this woman does what she loves, doesn't she? Yes. And again, this is just capturing a moment, but, you know, reflection, trying to show her a little, a little different and then her, you know, people looking at her, you know, her students in this class. Yeah. But you see her paperwork, she comes prepared. Yeah. And you just the beauty of her. Yeah. Miss Aughty Angel. Yes. Who is an angel, angel. And you know what I love about this? It says, you know, you look at this and you see the love, but you also see those, the mirrors. And it takes you to like, oh, you know, and you see the, the, um, the poles in the background for the ballerinas or the stretching. So right. it takes you to that dance studio. Right. And I think people, and I'm included in that, I like to make a lot of faces. And sometimes people get wrapped up into, they look at the face and go, is that a good face or a bad face? Mm -hmm. No, that's her just being real. That's her talking to the group mm -hmm. in that moment. She can't do anything but look beautiful no matter what, what she's doing mm. and her being re and that's her being real and her hands, which I really liked in this moment. Oh she my God. Her hands a lot in, in, you know, telling the story. 
Well, she uses that uh, her hands a lot in her dancing as well, and her shoulders. Right. And, uh, so that's and a, there's lots of pictures of her and beautiful pictures of her dancing, and yeah. I have a lot to show for those. But I just wanted to capture her her groupies, people looking at her, and you know, really taking in what she has to offer. Right. Uh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Mm, I love this. I'm so glad we're like looking through these photos. They're like so, they're so. And remember, anybody can do this, especially, you know, with phones and things. It's, it's just a matter of just getting out and trial and error. Right, right. But everybody has their own touch, their ta taste, their art. Right. This is one of the first classes that I went to um, that you were teaching at, at the, um, what was that place? That was in Inclusion Films. In yeah. Films, uh, we had Meet the Biz there for several years through George right. Travolta's, yeah. Now, this is an amazing actor. Who uh, is it? Maybe? Mr. C.J. Jones. Yes. Uh, and he was there for one of your classes, just observing. And he's listening. And I, li I love the idea of, of him just sitting there listening. And, you know, the background. Yeah. I wanted to put in there, too, the posters. Yeah. Um, yeah. It sort of seems also like she could be whispering to him in a way. Or it's... Right. You know, well, which, you see, what you want to pick is the eyes on, on either side are looking towards him. Mm. So they're kind of drawing in. They're looking, but, you know, they just want to draw towards him in the end. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing about you. You just, you see that happening. You snap because you feel the moment instantly, right? Right. It's not like a pre-planned shot. And that's what makes no. it artistic and so gorgeous well he was kind of alone and and most of the shots are him and a group of people and you know and things but this is just him alone in the director's chair relaxed and listening taking in and those are often the best pictures of people listening yeah 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 beautiful God, you know, I mean, it's really a history what, what, you, what you've taken here. Oh, now this one. This one is like, yeah. This is one of my favorites. One uh -oh. of my favorites. Now this is the original non-cropped version yeah. I put in. I cropped it when I gave it to you. Yeah. Because I took out some of the the background noise for it to focus more on the two actors in the center. Right. But this is an example of when you take the picture, you don't know where they're going. Mm -hmm. So you might want to be a little bit wide, right? Mm -hmm. Because she did that in that moment. She knelt down. So I just wanted to capture the interaction between really the two actors or the three actors and the student. Yeah. Because you always, you know, I, I wanted to put it in a place. And that's, that's where that came out of. And it was shot with a camera where you could zoom in and still keep that quality. Yeah. And the, it's just the energy between them is so powerful that you could see it's affecting everyone around them. Right. Brenda in the back is just laughing and, and taking it in, but also her head is back a little because the energy is so powerful. Right. Then in front, Shannon is drawn into it by them. Right. And you see, you can create different versions with Shannon, or you could go in tighter and just have the three in the picture. So that's, you know, an editorial judgment. Right. But in this case, you know, why I cropped it is first of all, you know, the location isn't the best location, mm. you know, as far as aesthetics, because right. it's a class, right. a classroom. So you want to get rid of that as much as you can, right. 
you know, without editorializing. And, um, you know, the bathroom door isn't important. And so that's where I would crop in. Right. 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 And just, and that's, that's the beauty of, of um, having a big sensor is you can crop in. Yeah. And but I just wanted to show an example of a real story, but actually from the outside in. Right. Right. That is, yeah, that's, and it is interesting, like you said, that bathroom door, I mean, and, and you could focus in on Shannon, you could focus here or there. There are so, I mean, you have so many pictures out of that one that you could have. Right. And that's the editorial judgment. Um, or if what, what you wanted, let's say if I were delivering it to you and you might want two versions, you might want the student version, the student looking at the scene and you might want just the actors. Right. And I like to give, um, you know, people options. I'm not necessarily m married to the picture unless I'm doing it, you know, just for my own um, edification. But I look at it like, you know, like um, in two ways. One is, you know, my art. And then two is I also want to do it for the storytelling. So if you're a director, you're working with a team, you have producers, and I think of you as a producer. So I say, okay, you know, help me out here. Don't, you know, it's okay if you don't like the picture. Mm. And, uh, but just, you know, tell me why, and then I'll improve on what you want. And that's the hard part. Oftentimes people say, well, I don't know what I want. Uh. You know? And you can, and as long as people are willing for me to keep taking pictures, I'll keep doing different things until they go, oh, that's what I want. Uh -huh. You know, and no. it might not be exactly what I want yeah. personally, you know, because I'm going for the abstract and, and doing all kinds of wild things. But in the real story, like you say, is what is Meet the Biz about? No, I'm mean, what is Meet the Biz about again, sir? Oh, you're asking me? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was oh. hoping you would go into, oh. I was like, oh, is it? Okay, give me the cue again. It, what, oh, what is Meet the Biz about? Uh, Meet the Biz uh, is wait, about. Wait, my tongue. What is Meet the Biz about again? Meet the Biz is about bridging the gap between disability and ability and coming on the other side of that wonderful bridge to inclusion. There you go. Oh my oh. gosh. There you go. That's the, the lower register. And, uh, and that's where you, you, you know, when you're, where, okay, I can, I can do that. I can work with that. Yeah. You know. I if like that because sometimes as a producer, I get into that, do I know what I want? And the thing is, I know what I like and the acceptance and trust in my own self right. and allowing the person who is, who is taking the photos or who is acting on the set uh, or, uh, you know, who, who's framing the lens, you know, trust in your own ideas and creations and allowing them to give you the smorgasbord of what is possible. Right. And, and if you're about selling tickets, maybe I just take all the pictures, because I have a lot of pictures of, of you and your class with celebrities. So I just post all those because that brings in, that's another way of, if you just want to bring people in to uh -huh. sell tickets, and there's nothing wrong with that. Right. You know, that's, that's why it's biz, the business right. part. But, it, show it, is. but, but you're authentic in a different way, mm. which will never make you, um, you know, a multi-billionaire, but maybe a billionaire. Well, maybe, maybe what? Maybe just a billionaire, not a multi-billionaire. I'll listen. I'm, you know, I'm loving life, and as long as I can survive in this wonderful world that we call art and life. Now, this is a picture that got me in trouble. It did? Yes. Why? 
because I kept taking pictures. Who is this gentleman? Uh, well, the one taking the, uh, the one with the camera is the wonderful, um, incredible Christopher Volker. Um, and uh, in, in front of the camera is the, uh, uh, just an, an incredible model actor, um, J.J. Dubon. Um, Christopher, of course, passed uh, several years ago, but he, uh, a legend, legend. But anyway, I, I, it was another one of your wonderful classes. Mm -hmm. And where can you find those? Meet the Biz? Thank meet you. The, meet the Biz. You can find Meet the Biz at www.meetthebiz.net. And right. for an, a more expanded um, idea of what we do, you can go to davidszimmerman.com. Be sure it's David S. Zimmerman. Will do, sir. Thank and you. And this, <laughs> anyway, I kept taking pictures of him doing his, doing his job, Chris Volker. Yeah. And they, at a certain point, he asked me to stop, but I'm glad I did because there's very few pictures of him working. Yeah. You know, pictures of him doing his job. And that's really what you want to showcase um, is with Meet the Biz is, oh, no, these are professionals. They're two professionals just doing their job. And again, I wanted to be out of the way and just capture that moment. And if you're a photographer, you know, you look at that and go, yeah, that's, that's a normal thing. Well, again, it's a piece of art. This is a piece of art because if you look right in the middle and you, and you, you see the two people on, on the sidelines, you know, you, you have to focus. You, and then you could see the umbrella. You could see the pole and the light hitting the pole. What I love, and I haven't seen this before because maybe I saw the black and white version of this, is the, how the light, that blue light from the computer hits his camera and the blue light right. then goes on the camera. I love that, even on the tip of his chair. Right, and I also wanted to showcase um, the chair. Just mm -hmm. that, that, so, cause you know, I just wanted to highlight that because people will, you know, you see it, but you don't really see it. Yeah, yeah. And his apparatus of holding the camera. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, quite, quite gorgeous, that. Ah, uh, God, these are so good. I love doing this with you. Thank you for this. Um, anytime, or almost anytime. <laughs> yeah. Anytime. Now, this is a picture I wanted to show of not quite right. Uh-huh. I mean, it, they're two professionals. And, you know, I have like a thousand pictures of you introducing people. Yeah. I mean, you look good. You look good in that picture. Yeah. And he's looking at you kind of like, what, what the heck is he saying? <laughs> I know, right? I was thinking that too. <laughs> and, and it looks like it's taken in a living room. Uh-huh. Which it but was. No, it was at the WGA. Yeah. And this is where I missed a great opportunity to, instead of, I should have, you know, I was kind of starstruck. Who is that gentleman there? Mr. Alan Rucker, the wonderful so, writer, author, part of the main part of the WGA. So I was a little starstruck by him. Yeah. Um, in the, but, um, but I wanted to, what I should have done is on the opposite side, there's a bookcase. Mm. Remember that bookcase with all the scripts? Right, yes. If I would have taken a picture of you guys over there, Right. Or from because what you want to do is, again, it might have been staged, but this just looks like a living room somewhere, as right. opposed to we're in a prestigious place and you, you know, he brought us to a great location, the WGA right. and their study or whatever, where, you know, people don't often get to see. And that's where I should have set it up. Well, it's interesting, too, that you say that because it's making me think now that, you know, back then I was, okay, I would put together the workshop and, you know, wherever the chairs are set, I'll go with it. You know, I just go with the flow a lot of times. But if I think ahead or or we think ahead, can we, how about we have this is the backdrop of it? Because right. all, 
you know. So that's interesting that you said that. Because maybe during the day with the curtains open, there's a shot outside. I don't think there is, but you know, you want to capture that right. to show it's a high rise. But um, Alan's such a good looking guy. I know. And I just love how he's looking at you. Just, <laughs> he's like, I just love that, you know, and he's going, uh, but you're just so earnest and honest and loving. Oh my God. Oh, it's wow. so funny. I love this picture. Probably not everybody else's favorite, but it just shows you two. But again, I just missed that opportunity. Um, of, you know, we could have done a, a shoot in that where the bookcase was. Right. 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 And and that's where you have to think sometimes. Go, okay. In this instance, we're gonna use the location. Well, that was that was many that was years ago though. That wasn't that right. ten years ago. So since then, or even longer since then. No, it's not ten years ago. Not ten years. I lose track of time. I'm like, time is like. Whoa. But I have lots of pictures at the um, at SAG. Yeah. And they're they're really good with you and you know, you you did some classes there. And those are important because you want to showcase the professionalism of Meet the Biz. Right. You know, I didn't put any in there because you you said ten and I put in a gazillion. So um uh, no, well it's the the ones you picked were were great because it really, like you said, you're teaching so many different things here and how each how each um photo and what it means and this is there's probably again about a billion of these of your students hugging the the teacher for the day mm. the instructor or whoever you brought in yeah well that was uh that's the wonderful cynthia toussaint yeah uh, and you weren't there that day that was i think one of the only meet the biz classes I couldn't make because I think I was ill in the yes. Bay Area. I was up, up yeah. in the San Francisco Bay Area with the family. And uh, so, yeah, uh, it, it, uh, another amazing workshop there. But again, it's the humanness of your class, you know, and, and it showcases what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I love the people in the background just taking it in. Taking the energy, you see that? That is a, a, a humanity. That energy of two people hugging. Right. Trans just moves outward and affects other people around them. So well, that, yeah, that's why you wanted to, I always want to include other people. Yeah. And again, being short, I can capture these better than people um, being of average height because I'm lower to the ground and um, the angle just works so much better Yeah, yeah. for these kind of poses. I mean, not poses, but these kind of pictures. Yeah. Well, it's, and people, yeah, go on. And people shouldn't be, you know, cause some people are afraid, Oh, well, I'm in a wheelchair. I can't, you know, take high pictures. I go, well, no, but just take the pictures you can and, you know, be your own, you know, creative person. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting too, you know, we talk about the love um, because we have, there's so many pictures out there in the world right now of this anger and this hate, but that has, you know, it's like that ripple, you know, you throw the pebble in the pond and it ripples. Right. So whether it's, you know, what is your focus? What how do you want to throw this pe pebble? Do you want to throw it with love? Do you want to throw it with hate? But remember, yeah, in a lot of hate is built on the love they have for humanity. Right, right. Because if you didn't care, there wouldn't, there would just be nothing. And right now there's people caring. Right. And that's, that's what we have to recognize. I mean, I, I can kind of see through it, you know, with, with the anger, but the love in, in it. Because nobody gets more angry than a mom 
if somebody's going to hurt their child. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. And that's just, that's pure anger, pure love. And we must remember that too. And when we look at the pictures, instead of looking at and then scrolling past, you know, as we do our doom scrolling on Twitter or whatever, is go, oh, no, let's stop in this. Okay, this guy is just hurting and we'll just leave him alone because he's a negative person. But here's another person who's hurting and they don't know why. Mm. They don't know why. And that's, that's, you know, your class teaches us about loving and why to love. Mm. Not how to love because, you know, that there's many ways you can, but why? Maybe I'll add that to the website. Learn why to love. Mm -hmm. Because what's the alternative? What's the alternative? You can hate, like you said, but hate for hate's sake is boring. Mm -hmm. mm. There's nowhere to go. Mm. Um, I think we have what, one or two more photos here. Yes, two more photos. All right, here we go for the next one. Another, another loved one, it, it looks like. Uh, see, uh, share the screen. And again, this is a posed picture of yeah. you two. Yeah. Definitely posed. But you're acting. Yeah. But isn't that wonderful where, where you're, you know, you're Prince Charming <laughs> and she's Cinderella, and it's just, <laughs> I just love that. Well, and I loved, you You sent me this once uh, on Facebook with the castle in the back. <laughs> yes. It was great with Disney. I, I did lots of versions, but it, isn't it a wonderful, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with um, goofing for camera if, if it comes with, again, like the other picture of you two with the love. Yeah. And she's just wondering what the heck you're doing and just <laughs> going with it. Yeah. And, and like you said, you know, and this is connects to the acting is that when you are full and you have such a connection with the other person, or even if you, you know, whatever that, that feeling that you have, it's real. And so this pose picture is so much fuller. Right. And I don't mind the chairs and I don't mind any of the background because again, this is like an off stage picture. Yeah. 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 Of two people who love each other, you know, acting, acting as they say. Right. Oh, guess what? I have a surprise. We have two more. We, don't, we still have two more. Okay. Here we go. Now, what's wrong with this picture? Nothing. <laughs> oh, you... I, yes, I do know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was, you know, and I bought <laughs> it again. It's so... one of my favorites. But it's such a natural thing because you don't see people differently just going, oh, this is what I do. Is I put the mic up next to the person talking. Right. No, I mean, in, in reality, she could be speaking too. I just love the juxtaposition of, of the, the signing with the, the microphone. Right. And who's that lovely lady on the other side? Oh, I love her so much. She is amazing. You know her well, yes? Yes. Consuelo Flores, beautiful woman, dear friend. But yeah, so I, I picked that to, and it's a, she, they're just, well, she's beautiful anyway. Well, and it, it, it's, it really is um, so beautiful. All three of us there, it's the intensity and the focus on, on the wonderful um, Hillary right in the middle. But she, and you look at her eyes, it's so so powerful. And that's another reason to choose it is 
is the signing. I love taking pictures of people um, signing um, because it is a poetry. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting to have the flag in the background too. I just noticed it. It's not there. I wouldn't have noticed. I've never noticed it before. But when I start looking at these photos, you look at different things. Right. Um, well, we have our final picture of the day from Mr. Uh, Mr. Hansel. Uh, let me see here. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And this was taken at a bar, I mean, at the, who, which one, um, I can't remember. It was one of the agencies, um, was that casting agencies. Oh, a casting agencies, like, uh, on, like near Culver City or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Peter Farley was, was hosting a seminar there. And then afterwards, the people, you know, went up and had drinks. But I wanted to capture a moment of, I, you know, tried to round up, herd, herd the cattle, as, as they say, and take a picture. And um, he was really supportive of this film. And um, yes. I have so many of your, your groups together. Um, I just wanted to show a different side of it. Oh, and sometimes you, you, you have to herd cattle right. and get them together and then take a picture. I have a good picture, but this one was my favorite because he's just enjoying, you just see the people enjoying the moment. Well, I think this is from Bulletproof. Yes. Film Bulletproof, which was a wonderful film. Um, and uh, yes, I mean, you have done so many photos. I was like, I mean, we could, we could go on and on because you've worked for, um, oh gosh, uh, Marissa Amamoto. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of dancing pictures, and that's a whole different genre. Right. You know, because then you're talking about movement and right. things like that, capturing movement. Right. And I have sports oh. pictures. I have sports pictures right. from the Triumph Foundation and and those and uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for the all of this. This is amazing. I, you know, if I had to throw out one more question to you. For this this visit, which I want more and more of your visits, um, what what is your favorite word, and why? Love. Love. Thank you, Mr. Hansel. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>